celebrate good times, come on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my 87th Plus Two video. Um, I'm not in a different room, I just flipped the camera the other way. So um, yeah, welcome. Welcome to my 87th Floss 2 video. It's Thursday, the 2nd of September, and this will be uploaded tomorrow, the 3rd of September, as usual, on Fridays. Um, the reason why I started out like this is I have cause for a celebration, and I have some very big thank yous to give you. Um, first off, I would like to thank um, each and every one of you who subscribe to my channel, who watches my videos. I reached 3000 subscribers, 3000. I, I'm overwhelmed. I was literally thinking about putting all those 3000 subscribers in one big room and then it dawned on me that it is a lot. And yeah, I'm very grateful. I, I really love that you like my videos and you will return my, to my videos. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I hope you will return. But to each and every one of you, you are appreciated. And I, I yeah, just a huge, huge thank you. Um, I have two things to um, say thank you with. One thing I'm going to show you right now and the other thing is a giveaway for one of you later in this video. The first thing I would like to give away is for all of you. Everyone is getting this um, if they want to. Maybe they won't, but if you want to, you can have it. Um, I told you earlier in previous videos, I was dabbling a bit in designing um, my own patterns. This is, uh, <laughs> this is hard. This is an antique sampler I bought. I'm going to reproduce it maybe next year. I, I don't think it's going to be this year, but next year, I think. Um, but I also, uh, not only like samplers, I also really, really love full coverage designs. And um, my little sister, Melanie, uh, I would like to give her a huge thank you because she is a wonderful photographer. She is not professional, but she does really love to make photos or pictures, take pictures. And they are really beautiful. And I uh, talked with her and asked her if I could use some of her photos or pictures to turn into full coverage designs. And uh, she said yes. And uh, so her name is on, uh, on the pattern and maybe in upcoming patterns because this is a free one I'm giving away to all of you to say thank you for following me. And uh, yeah, it's just my way to say thank you. Um, but I would like to show you. Uh, the link is in the description box to my link tree. There is the pattern you can download. And the only thing I would like to uh, say, um, please don't um, give it to anyone else or post it, the pattern itself, post it on um, Pinterest or you, of course you can post the cover picture, but you can't, or at least I would like to see it not be posted on Pinterest or any of the illegal sites. It is a free design and I love it. I have turned it into a full coverage pattern, which works in Pattern Keeper. Yay! The only thing uh, I would like to say about that is that since I'm not a uh, recognized designer, uh, you would have to input the DMC numbers yourself, but 
every other thing is working in Pattern Keeper. This is the design. This is the picture my sister took at the Hortus Botanicus in Amsterdam. And I call it Fall in Amsterdam. And it is 300 by 397 stitches and it contains 150 colors. I would have done a little less colors, but um, yeah, this picture needs as much detail as possible. So 150 colors. I am going to start it on October 1st because October 10th is my birthday. So to me, it's going to be a birthday start. Alice is joining me and Jemima is joining me. Uh, and the hashtag for this is going to be fall in Amsterdam, S-A-L. And it's not a birthday stitch along. It's just a stitch along to celebrate this pattern. And yeah, I really love it. I love this. So Melanie, thank you. And each and every one of you, thank you. Thank you very much. And maybe in the future I will make some more uh, patterns and I will open my Etsy shop for it. So, but this one's a freebie and you can find it in the description box. So thank you, thank you, thank you very, very, very much. And I hope you will join me. You can, you don't have to. And yeah, but I'm just at a loss for words. So that's my pattern. And I don't think I need to tell anything else about that one. I'm just going to put it away or it fell down. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Except for you all. <laughs> um, yeah. The next thank you I need to give is uh, for the buy me a coffee. I have a buy me a coffee link in the description box as well. Um, I use that for shipping costs for giveaways or to buy things for giveaways or buy DMC threads for full coverage designs. And um, I received a few coffees from Holly. So Holly, Holly, thank you so, so very much. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. So if you would like to use that link, it's in the description box, but you're not obligated to do so. So I would like to show you the works in progress I have been working on the last couple of weeks. Nothing is ironed. I just have a stack of project bags next to me. Let me just grab my stuff. This is She Sleeps by Heaven and Earth Designs. And the, the, the artwork is by oh, Stephanie Pui Moon Law, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, I started this with Lydia, Lovely Stitches, and uh, we are hashtagging it. Hashtag Team She Sleeps. And have you seen Sarah X Stitches on Instagram, her update on this one? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I... Every time I see her update, updates, I would like to stitch on this one. So keep it up, Sarah. <laughs> I am going to show you what I have done. And this is what I have so far. Let me this down. I really love this. I did a total of 983 stitches and I'm now uh, currently at 1.70%. And this is stitched on 25 count Lugana 1 over 1 over 1 full cross with the called for DMCs of course. 
This is so beautiful. I can't wait to get back to this one. Look at the colors. So vibrant. It's beautiful. Let me put it back in the project bag. Sorry about the noises, crinkling. But yeah. The next project I have been working on is Temper Prophecy by Long Dog Sampers. I really, really enjoy Long Dog Sampers. When I feel the urge to do some monochrome stitching, I am going to go to Long Dog Sampers. So and let me just grab my fabric for it. This is what I have so far. This is stitched on 20 count balana, which I hand dyed with beige before I named my fabrics. And it's stitched with Darling by Miss Usedas, which is a silk and it's gorgeous and it smells great and it stitches up beautifully. Let me take it a little bit up close so you can see. I managed to fill in this top part, I added this part and I added this part. I did a total of 1181 stitches and I'm currently at 12.45%. I really enjoy this one. That's Temper Prophecy. And I have an itchy nose because it's floss tube. The next piece. I have this in my beautiful project bag from Diane Frog and Fudge. Thank you, Diane. And it's Hickety Pickety by Brenda Gervais with I Needle and Thread. This chicken dough. <laughs> I thought, well, never mind what I thought, <laughs> this chicken is so huge. I'm going to show you. Let me fold my fabric a little bit. Look at this chicken. I finished the chicken, <laughs> but it's huge. I used the cult for colors, which are over dyes. And this is stitched on 32 count Dragon's Egg by x Design. Two over two. So, look at that chicken. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to see the end result, but it will have to wait. The next project is our second friendship stitch along from the Stitch Kateers, which are <laughs> Jantina Stitches, uh, The Rocking Stitcher, Lovely Stitches and Alice. Hi Alice. <laughs> Honeybee Stitcher on Instagram. We all work on this one, so we said we'll just use this as our second stitch along this is deer creek mini deer creek 
by Donna Gelsinger, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And our hashtag for it is Dear Friends Cell. And I am so in love with this piece. This is what I have so far. I really love the detail for a mini. It's, it's just beautiful, all those greens. Let me show you up close. How beautiful is this? For this pattern, I'm using the parking method, which is not, comes not naturally for me, but I'm trying. So I really love it. And yeah, I can't wait to get back to this one. And I'm going to say it about everything. Um, this is stitched on 25 count, one over one pull cross. This is easy guide. And yeah, I love this. And the next one was a new start. Last Sunday, I uh, saw I had 3,000 3, subscribers. And I needed to celebrate it for myself. So, some time ago, uh, I believe Jantina from Jantina Stitches uh, gave, me, ooh, gave me this pattern. Yellow Bird by La Liga. She already finished it. I believe it was Jantina. And when I finish it, I will pass it along to another Stitch Kateer. So I started this last Sunday. And it's still in the very small hoop because I'm planning on stitching on this next weekend. This is stitched on 40 count Vintage Lace by me. And this is stitched with a dark blue by Miss Oceda's, which I had in my stash. I finished the border already and I am starting with stitching the corners and the big bird. And then I make it into a pillow, I think. But it's a wonderful stitch. So I plan on stitching this this upcoming weekend. And this new start makes it into four, 54 clips. And my, my pattern start is making it 55. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit much, <laughs> but who cares? Sweewee, right? My last whip is part of a challenge uh, which I am participating in. Uh, Kelly of Animal Instinct is hosting shiny September stitching. And uh, she is focusing on her full coverage piece, which she has a goal of finishing to the bottom of the pattern. I participate with my Mini Gypsy Firefly, which is also my FC Finish Challenge 2021. So I'm going to finish it this year. But not only am I finishing it this year, I am finishing it this month. So um, I am working um, throughout the week on Mini Gypsy Firefly. And this is how it looks like when it's finished. And in the weekends, I can work on whatever I want. I will try to um, um, do some samplers because it's also sampler September. So we'll see. But <clears throat> this is what I have so far. I filled in the rest of her blouse and working on part of her dress and a shawl. And yeah, look at this. This is gorgeous. I, I can't say otherwise. 
This is currently at 92%. I need to do 5,500 stitches, around 5,500 stitches to finish it, which I will finish it, believe me. Um, this is stitched on 18 count Ada, two over one, full cross. And yeah, I really, really, really love this. I can't wait to see the end result. It's just beautiful. And I can't, can't not see the fox. It's how cute is this? Yeah. That's my mini gypsy firefly. And those were my whips for the last two weeks. I will see what I have in the next two weeks. Um, Next part of my video is my giveaway for the 3000 subscribers. Um, besides the free pattern I designed and am giving away through this video and maybe on Instagram, um, I am going to give away one pattern from the Heaven and Earth Designs website. If you are like me and like full coverage and you have a wish list on Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, you can participate. Um, I would like you to uh, use the word. Why didn't I think this through before this video? I don't know. <laughs> um, just answer the question. Um, which artist you like best? And artist is the word I'm going to be looking for. And you have two weeks to um, to participate in this giveaway. And in my next video, I will announce the winner. And um, yeah, you will have to have a wish list on Heaven and Earth Designs because I would like to pick out a pattern from your wish list. So I will need your email address. Um, from that wish list on heaven and earth designs please be over 18 um, please be a subscriber to my channel i would really love to go to this giveaway to go to one of my subscribers and um, what other rules are there for giveaways don't say giveaway or free or in the comments please don't because i don't want to delete your comment but it also attracts a lot of trolls on youtube and i don't want to uh, have to go through that so please don't say free don't say giveaway be over 18 use the word artist tell me your favorite artist on heaven and earth designs and um yeah Good luck. <laughs> Let me just see in two weeks who won this giveaway and I will pick out a pattern from your wish list. So this is my thank you for uh, the subscribers I have right now. So thank you so much again. Hi, I'm just quickly interrupting myself before you can go to the shout outs. <laughs> before I forget to tell you the updates on uh, the upcoming maybe to host get together uh, in the early spring of next year. Um, Alice, Honeybee Stitcher on Instagram, is going to host um, a get together. It's not a retreat, nothing like StitchCon or, yeah, um, it's just a get together with maybe 30 to 40 stitchers here in the Netherlands, uh, where to be determined. Um, last video, I failed to mention that the COVID numbers are still, COVID isn't away. So we, of course, are going to um, have a look at the COVID numbers and if it's possible to host this and we will do this according to the rules and regulations for COVID-19. And um, I'm sorry if I'm uh, bumping the camera, camera because I'm holding it in my hands right now. Um, 
The plan is to host a get together for 30 to 40 people, stitchers, and here in the Netherlands somewhere. And um, it's not going to be big, it's going to be small, it's not going to be anything with. Um, we are not going to arrange transport from airports or anything like that. We that's that's over our heads. We we want to host a get together, but that's it. Um, so of course we will uh, see and look at a location near public transport, so it's easier to get there, and you will need to. Um, you are responsible for your own arrangements for uh, sleeping arrangements. It's nothing like uh, a retreat where everything is arranged. That's that's not what we wanted uh, in the first place it, at first, because yeah, it's the first time we are hosting something like this and we want to try it out. Maybe in the future we will do a full blown retreat, but the first one isn't like that. I just wanted to mention that be before the expectations are getting too high. Um, we just want to get together with stitchers and have a good time and stitch and laugh and talk and maybe do some shopping. And yeah, we are thinking about um, doing two days. Um, and we want to do the first day for everyone who is coming to the full get together and the second day is going to be uh yeah how do i say this this is a plan it's not set in stone yet but the plan is to um see if the second day is uh, available for anyone who would like to walk in if you're not able to come come to the get together for two days, um, then you can come for one day or even two hours or yeah, but that's going to be on the second day. Um, if that's uh, going to be set in stone and yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, we are just still looking at the garments, how many people would like to come. Um, yeah, we are just still in the early stages of planning this. So nothing set in stone yet and we will keep you posted through our videos. And uh, yeah, I am excited for it. I hope to see a lot of you. So that's the only thing I would like to say before I get to the shout outs and I forget about this. So that's it. Um, yeah, thank you for listening. Um, I don't have anything else other than my shout outs. I have been watching Floss Tube while stitching and I have a couple. The first one is a male stitcher, which is James, the PH stitcher. He is from the Philippines and he has wonderful projects. He is um, doing lots of full coverage, but also some DMC Philippines patterns which are really beautiful so check him out then we have stitching moon which is megan she is an american living in norway and yeah she has wonderful projects as well then we have the stitching penguin ashley wonderful uh, projects uh, also full coverage projects and her husband edens edits her videos we have Stitching Brit, which is Ange Angela. She is from the UK and does lots of full coverage pieces. Then we have Angela the Ada Lover. I, she has some floss tube videos out right now, but I never came across her and now I do. So I immediately subscribed. Angela, lots of full coverage also, but also some other beautiful projects. And the last one I have is Socks for Mom. Becky. I heard her name several times, but I never knew she did floss tubes. So I came across her channel uh, through recommendations and immediately subscribed. Uh, she does a lot of samplers 
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And she comes across as a very sweet and yeah, wonderful person. So I will list them all below and so you can check them out your check them out yourself. Again, I can't say it enough. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Thank you so much for um yeah supporting me. Um if you want to you can download my free full coverage design and uh hopefully if you want to, you can participate with the Stitch Along I am hosting from October 1st. Um, yeah, that's it. Use the word artist in your comment. Uh, tell me your favorite artist on the Heaven and Earth Designs website so you can participate in the giveaway. And that's it. I don't have anything else. I am just going to clean up. I'm going to stitch today on Mini Gypsy Firefly again. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see in two weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in two weeks. Bye for now.